In 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33, it says, God is a God not of disorder, but of peace. And when we connect with God, we're also surrounded and infilled with the order of God, the peace of God. Sometimes, though, in our human mind, we're in a state of disorder, in a state of confusion. Sometimes, for instance, it's easy to forget where the car keys are. And that often happens when we're running late, doesn't it? Or where the grocery list is, and we're on our way or already at the grocery store. With so much going on, it's amazing that we do remember what we do need to recall when we need it. But no matter what is going on around us, no matter how busy life gets, let's be sure to remember to live in God's orderly world. Right in the midst of feeling confused, right in the midst of turmoil, we can affirm this in prayer, and it brings us back to center. I am living in God's world of order. I am living in God's world of order. This prayer puts us in touch with the peace that is always present. The understanding that is always available. Remembering that we're living in God's orderly world keeps our thoughts peaceful and allows us to act from a state of peacefulness. And you know what happens then? We begin to recall where the car keys are. We begin to recall everything that's on the grocery list and even some of the things we originally forgot to put on the grocery list. When we're tense, we're like a closed fist. And yet when we relax, we open up and we receive. In, I've said this many times before, you might not have heard it, the kingdom of heaven. It's talked about in the Bible. Well, original, first century Christianity, that translates as the kingdom of expansion. Well, what in the world does that mean? It means not having a closed fist not being all locked up and tense, to open your mind. And when you open your mind, literally heaven descends and can get in. We have free will. We can block it or we can let it happen. We let it happen. God bless you.